morning everyone, David here, I hope you're well. We've only got about six weeks of the trout fishing season left on rivers now, so I'm in the fly shop today sorting through some of the grayling flies getting ready for autumn. Here's five of my favorite grayling flies that will catch fish. Don't forget, visit the links in the description to buy these from the fly shop. So number five, I put the pink bomb. It has a double tungsten bead, which means it will get down very deep, even in quick, fast runs. So it's wonderful for catching grayling in those deeper sections of river where you can't get to them with any other method. Pink is a very traditional color for grayling. I don't know if there's any science behind it or whether it's just a very old fashioned fly tires way of describing the grayling as the lady of the stream. At number four, the olive pupa tungsten bead, superb fly, fish in the style of an upstream nymph, casting upstream, letting the fly trundle back down towards you. It has got the tungsten bead, so it will get down, but it's not super, super heavy. Um, this is a great imitation of the pupa of the caddis fly, which the grayling feed on heavily. Right, at number three, we have the Hydropsyche Check Nymph. Hydropsyche, again, is focusing in on the caddis fly. It's not a heavily leaded Check Nymph, this, so if you want wanting to fish it deep, you will need to fish it either in a team of three or like this occasion here, this lovely grayling. This was caught with a couple of split shot on the line and a single fly. The Shrimper. Um, as well as the caddis fly, grayling will feed very heavily on shrimps. This is a lighter shrimp imitation, so it enables you to cast upstream in a more traditional upstream nymphing manner. Most rivers in the UK will contain a good population of freshwater shrimp, so it's one of the common food sources that the grayling are always locking onto. Number one, the Czech Tambug. This is probably my most successful grayling fly. A great all-round imitation of a freshwater shrimp and a caddis fly larva. If you only had to have one fly, you could fish with this. It's reasonably heavily leaded. It will get down fairly deep, or you can fish it in a team, or you can add split shot, and it's very successful. 